Welcome back. This is part two of me making this fashion plate. Um, so my last video, if you didn't see it, I made the bodice and now we are starting on the skirt. And hopefully it's easier than the bodice. We'll see. It's a skirt. I've made millions of skirts, right? Right. 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 I am using Truly Victorian's trumpet skirt pattern with the round length and pleated back. I'm cutting out the pattern for the skirt. And I can already tell it's going to be much longer than I need it. Oh, the joys of being short. I don't really want to take it out of the middle because of the way that it trumpets out. All of a sudden, your lines are like this. And so, I don't know how to fix that. So I'm just gonna take it off the bottom. It'll be fine, that's what I usually do for my skirts anyway. Good news, uh, once I tried on the skirt with the boots that I plan on wearing, it was actually not that much longer than I need it to be. Massive ruffle hemmed. Now it's time to gather this baby. The ruffle's done. It's not my best work, but you know what? It's on the lining, so it doesn't even matter. Make a decorative point to the center back edge at bottom of top stitching. We'll see if I can even make it through here, let alone make it decorative. It's a lot of fabric. How's that for a decorative point? Can she do it on the other side? No, probably not. But let's try. Honestly, it's not bad. Expected it to be a whole lot worse. Today. So I had a little problem with the skirt. Somehow it ended up three inches too big. I'm just, I don't know how. I'm blaming user error. Um, and after I had a little panic about it, I realized it was actually not that big of a deal because it's gored. So I just took in each seam an extra quarter inch and kind of blended it back into that half inch seam allowance. Worked out perfectly. Now it fits and all I have to do is hem it and put on the trim on the bottom and then it's all done. In order to do the hem I have to make bias tape for the facing and bias strips for the hem stiffener. They have instructions on how to create a bias strip using a square. I've tried this before from a video. I didn't have success, but let's try it with this drawing. See if I can make this work. at this picture and trying to figure out where to place this. I think this, if this is two inches here, this is either supposed to be an inch and a half or an inch. So I'm trying to figure this out. So here's the inch and then an inch and a half. I don't know if this is supposed to be half that width 
or just slightly less than. Hmm. When I started making the skirt, the hem ended up being much longer than I expected it to be. And I realized that the 10 yards of velvet ribbon that I had was not going to be enough. So I ordered more. Came in yesterday. It's out in the mailbox. But the mailbox door is broken and I can't get into it. So ugh, I can't finish the skirt. The maily man saved me. Okay, let's finish this up. Um, I was going to do three inches, but then when I saw it, I was like, no, I think that's too close. So I think five inches is probably closer to what it should be. So I'm going to do this five inches apart from this middle one. And yeah, that's all that I have to do. The last thing I did was I added two hooks and two eyes to the back of the bodice and skirt to keep the bodice in place when it is being worn. It's done. You know, when I made the bodice, I wasn't quite too sure whether I liked it or not, but I just put it on and mm, I love it. I'm hoping this weekend, if it doesn't rain, maybe we can have a picnic and have like a ridiculously cute video. We'll see. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and comment. And if you didn't see the first part of me making the bodice, I have linked that down below. And I will see you in the next one. Really bright right there.